one of these Ignis um, fireplace inserts. And I'm going to open the box up here. I bought it last year, so the box is kind of damaged. And we're going to see what's inside. So, in here, nice foam packing. A little uh, user manual for the Ignis installation instructions. Ethanol burner. And we'll put that aside. Here's the actual. I got like this one. Oh, this is for adjusting the flame. Um, it's called damper control. I imagine that hooks into that so you can adjust the flame. And lots of nice packing. I'm trying to really use this stuff somehow. It looks expensive. So, this is the actual burner in here. Uh, oh, it's pretty heavy. And I'll put it over here on, my, on this other table here. And there we are. We have the burner. So I've taken the burner out of the box now, and it's, uh, it's a very heavy stainless steel inside here. And I imagine you add the ethanol to the through here. Got a couple of labels here. It says, "Don't add ethanol when the fire is on." Or when it's hot don't add the ethanol when the fire's on or when it's hot so you have to wait till it's cool and I imagine you just pour it in there so here's this ignis uh, alcohol burner or methanol I'm trying it out on top of my wood stove here um, it took a while to get it going. It needs to actually be warmed up. And I had this fan going over top of it, which seemed to blow it out all the time. I think once it warms up inside there, it burns much faster. Or it burns much uh, more reliably. It's quite a nice flame, though, the yellow. You can see how it would work in a fireplace better, because it doesn't get so much drafty. Probably want to seal the top of your fireplace. So. Just an idea. I've got it burning on top of the wood stove just for a demo. So I've had this burning now for about two and a half hours, and it comes with a little uh, what they call a damper rod where you can close your flame. So here I'm going to show you how to adjust the flame. Put this into the little hook, and you can dumb it down a little bit there, so you burn less fuel. This actually provides a bit of heat, so you can see it there. It's burning a blue flame, very nice alcohol fire, and uh, it doesn't need any uh, doesn't need any venting. That's the good part. <laughs> You can put this in a, a non-insured fireplace and have the fireplace closed off, but still use this as an insert because it doesn't require vent. At least according to their literature. So that's the Ignis <coughs> EB1200 ethanol burner by Ignis. Ignis product. And then when you want to close it off, of course, use your little little thing and just smother it. Close it right away. Make sure you leave it closed, otherwise all your alcohol will evaporate and uh, it will be there for another day. <laughs> 